and welcome back to Lifestyle and Net Worth. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what your life is like when you're a member of one of the most popular rock bands in the world. What would your life look like if you were the drummer of the band Eagles, Don Henley? Where would you live and what car would you drive? Well, in this video, we're going to be finding out how these icons live their lives. Just his actions during the civil rights movement. Uh, Leo Tolstoy, the great Russian writer, was influenced by Thoreau and Emerson. Don Henley is the singer and the drummer of the band. He has a net worth of $250 million. In 1990, Henley founded the Walden Woods Project to help protect Walden Woods from development. The Thoreau Institute at Walden Woods was started in 1998 to provide for research and education regarding Henry David Thoreau. In 2005, he had a fundraiser concert with Elton John and others to buy Brister's Hill, part of Walden Woods, and turn it into a hiking trail. A lifelong supporter of the Democratic Party, Henley has been a generous donor to political campaigns of Democrats. In 2008, the Washington Post reported Henley had donated over $680,000 to political candidates since 1978. During the 1970s, Henley dated celebrities like Lori Rodkin, Stevie Nick, and Lois Childs. In the 80s, he became engaged to actress Marin Jensen, but the pair separated in 1986. By 1995, Don had married Sharon Summerall. They later had three children. As of 2019, the family resides in Dallas, Texas. In 2018, Don Henley purchased a home in West Hollywood for $2.2 million. The Spanish-style property was originally listed at $1.85 million, but Henley managed to win a bidding war to snatch up the 1,800-square-foot home. Although the house was built way back in 1923, it's been heavily updated over the years. It features oak floors and a living room with a batch elder tiled fireplace. Don Henley used to drive a Cadillac Escalade. And he owns a Mercedes Benz S500. I was sort of reliving my life for a while there. And of course, I've followed Linda since her days, you know, of having uh, hit records on radio through everything that she's done. Glenn Fry was the lead vocalist and frontman of the band. He has a net worth of $120 million. In 2009, Glenn Fry was voted into the Michigan Rock and Roll Legends Hall of Fame. On May 8, 2012, he released his first solo album in 20 years, After Hours, featuring covers of pop standards from the 50s to the 60s. In May 2012, Fry was awarded an honorary doctorate of music from Berklee College of Music, along with Henley, Joe Walsh, and Timothy B. Schmidt. Fry's first marriage was to Jamie Briggs. The pair were wed in 1983. Ultimately, their marriage didn't last and they were divorced in 1988. Fry found a more stable relationship two years later after marrying dance choreographer Cindy Milliken. They remained married until Fry's passing in 2016, and the pair had three children together over the course of their relationship. After Glenn Fry died in 2016 and his wife inherited his estate, one of the first assets to be sold off was his $14 million property in Brentwood. Built in 1996, the Mediterranean-style house sits on three acres of land. The outdoor area features an extensive tiled swimming pool and spa. The property itself boasts over 8,000 square feet of living space and patios that overlook the verdant gardens. Fry purchased the property in 2007 for $10 million. Although the property was initially listed for close to $15 million in 2017, the price was lowered to $14 million and sold soon afterwards. 
Glenn Fry used to drive a 55 Chevrolet. And a BMW. This event, and we're the, uh, I'm the, in the first batch. Yes, this sir. is the inaugural, inaugural uh, um, star yeah. placing, I guess, you know. Timothy B. Schmidt is the bassist and vocalist of the band. He has a net worth of $25 million. In 2012, Schmidt was honored with an honorary doctorate of music from Boston's Berklee College of Music. Schmidt was successfully treated for throat and neck cancer in late 2012. While he was in the band Poco, Schmidt married his first wife, Noreen. Together, they had a daughter named Jedra. The couple divorced in the mid-1970s. Later, in 1983, Schmidt married his second wife, Jean, with whom he has two children, daughter Owen Fay and son Ben. Timothy B. Schmidt lives in his home in Los Angeles, California. It's reported that he bought this property for $1.95 million. The house covers 3,466 square feet and has four bedrooms alongside four bathrooms. Timothy B. Schmidt owns a Chevrolet and an Aston Martin. Is a disease. It's a human condition. Sometimes, a lot of the time, it's genetic. Joe Walsh is the guitarist and vocalist of the band. He has a net worth of $75 million. On February 9th, 2014, Walsh was featured in several songs on the CBS special, The Night That Changed America, a Grammy salute to the Beatles. In 2014, Walsh made a guest appearance on Foo Fighters' eighth studio album, Sonic Highways. On May 24, 2016, Walsh appeared on NBC's The Voice, in which he played slide guitar. Talk box. and performed Rocky Mountain Way with contestant Laith Alsadi. Walsh is active in charity work and has performed in a number of concerts to raise money for charitable causes. He's also been a personal contributor to a number of charity causes, including halfway houses for displaced adult women in Wichita, Kansas. Walsh funded the first talent-based scholarship at Kent State University in 2008. While living in New York City, Walsh began a lifelong interest in amateur radio. He holds an amateur extra-class amateur radio license, and his station call sign is WB6ACU. Walsh was married to Margie Walsh in the 1960s. Stephanie Rhodes from 1971 to 1978, Juanita Boyer from 1980 to 1988, and Denise Driscoll from 1999 to 2006. Walsh and Stevie Nicks had a well-publicized fling in the 80s. He married Marjorie Bach in December 2008. Walsh's eldest daughter, Emma Kristen, died at age three due to a car accident on her way to nursery school. Walsh's daughter, Lucy Walsh, is also a solo musician. Walsh admits to struggling with alcohol and drug addiction for much of his early career. He's been in recovery since 1993. For roughly three decades, his primary home was a mansion in Studio City, California, which he sold in 2018 for $1.9 million. In 2013, Joe paid $3.96 million for a home above Beverly Hills. He listed the home for sale in May 2019 for $5.3 million and ultimately $4.6 million in October 2019.
Joe Walsh drives an Aston Martin. And a Lamborghini Aventador. <laughs> 